Let's go to LA. Look at this line. This has never happened before. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be flying to LA today. It is Friday, April 9th, and this trip was very last minute. Long story short, my family and I were supposed to take a road trip, two days long, 20 hours total, down to Florida, and we were gonna stay there for three weeks. We were gonna stay in an Airbnb, but the people that were staying there before us, they ended up getting COVID, so they had to quarantine there. I think they're still in quarantine. So basically the Airbnb person told us four days before we were supposed to leave and he said you guys can't come because there are other people still in there so obviously we didn't end up going but instead we booked this trip to california for two weeks instead and we're flying down and we decided to go a week later because both me and my parents got the covid vaccine so that is good news and we wanted to get vaccinated before we went on the plane we're going for two weeks the first week we're going to be there i have to do school and then the second week is my spring break so i obviously don't have school it's kind of an overview of what's going on it's friday the day that we're leaving i have like 30 minutes before school starts as you can see i have yet to pack and i have homework and a bunch of stuff that i need to do today so it's gonna be kind of crazy. I put out like a bunch of clothes. I have these packing compartments I'm just gonna sort through all these clothes I tried some things on last night just to see what still fit me and what didn't so then I narrowed it down to this pile I'm still not gonna take all of that, but I'm gonna have to pick and choose I finished three the smallest one that just has socks underwear or some bras. This has all my shirts I might have overpacked, but you know, I'll have options. And then the biggest one has sweatpants, jean shorts, leggings, and just a couple skirts. So I finally have everything. I just added in my toiletry bag and then all of my bathing suits and bikinis are in there. I just stuffed it in on the sides. My flip flops are in this front pocket, but now I have class. Oh, it's 9.15. Class is starting. I'll see you guys after class i packed a lot of things that i showed you guys on my spring try on haul video so yeah if you guys want to see more in depth of what i packed you should definitely go check out that video because i packed like everything that i showed for my carry-on i'm bringing my school backpack i still have to pack a little bit i just have a couple snacks my inhaler graphing calculator and a folder for some schoolwork and then I'm going to be putting my computer in there as well. And in here are a bunch of cords, like my camera battery and all of the charging cords, stuff like that. I'm also bringing my iPad because I need that for school. This is what I'm going to be wearing to the airport. I have this super cute shirt from Glows, and then just these leggings from Gymshark, and then I'm gonna put my Patagonia over. This is very comfy and warm, so this will be good for the plane. So we made it to the gate. We just got through security and our flight's delayed an hour and a half. We're looking for food. Los Angeles, 5.12 to 6.42. That's sad. We're gonna get in so late. Look at this line. Would have never expected this to happen. We're going to a hotel. Flight got canceled. So we're trying to get to the... He, he said go down the escalator. Yeah, but I 
thought he said go to the ticket thing. Okay, I'll get back to you guys. Going back up the escalator that we went down when we first came. I'll explain to you guys what happened when we get to the hotel. This has never happened before. Same place that we were six hours ago. Still in the lobby. So now that I'm sitting down, let me just explain to you guys what is going on. There's a federal law that limits pilots' flying hours to a certain number so that they don't get like overtired or something. Like it's just a law. So the pilots and the crew that were on our flight apparently were over the limit of how many hours they could be flying. But they were hoping to squeak it in because they were really, really close. They were probably like 30 minutes over or whatever. So they were trying to get us on and they were trying to get us in the air, but then they got caught right as we were about to take off um, on the runway. The people said that they couldn't go on, so we all had to evacuate the plane. Keep in mind that this flight was also delayed two hours, so everyone was like, finally we're on, let's take off, let's get going. And then we're literally on the runway. I filmed on my camera. I was gonna film us taking off and then they made that announcement. So we all evacuated the plane. Then I filmed again that big line that you saw because all of the Delta kiosk people had to help get hotels for everyone. Now we're here at the Hilton and our flight is rescheduled for tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Luckily, the Hilton is connected to the airport, so it's literally like a five minute walk. We don't have to get up as early and it's just really close by, so it's convenient. But Delta gave us all free hotel rooms uh, free dinner, free breakfast. Yeah, so that's where we are right now. Here we are at the hotel. Let's give you a little tour. To the left, we got our bathroom. Okay, it's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Like, it's not bad at all. It could definitely have been worse. Trying to think on the bright side here. Next. Here's a mirror. Two beds, mom say hi. Got a TV, and I think I showed you this, but it's just a view of nothing, basically just the highway. We got some free food with the vouchers. Oh, vouchers. Was it? Oh, this is the apple pie, and we got a pizza. Okay, it's about 5.45 right now. I'm back into my travel outfit. I probably got about two and a half hours of actual sleep last night. So now we're just getting ready for round two. We're gonna leave get some breakfast. We have to go through security and everything again, and then hopefully we'll get on our flight this time. So we missed our house. So now we're backing up. It's 536. It should be all these plants. 536. Guys, we made it. Let's see. The weather is so nice here. Let's open. This is so cute. Here's the front area. And then the front door is here. Oh, whoa, it's like a curtain. Ooh, it smells good in here. Right to the left, here's the living room. Cute little corner. And then here we have the dining room table. Mirror. Over here is the kitchen. Very nice. 
And then to the left, this is gonna be my room. And I think there's a bathroom in here, yeah. Don't know where the light is, but here it is. And a shower. Let's see if we go down here. Oh. So here's the master bedroom. Here is the second bathroom. Oh my gosh, this one's so nice. This is right off of the master. I love the way it's decorated. Okay, now time for the best part, the backyard. So here's the first section. Okay, and then down here, we've got a little hot tub, these fairy light things, and then another little seating area, this cute little wall. I don't really know. Oh, I think they rent this little part out. We got this section with the grill, and then more fairy lights, this big tree, and then another seating area. It's huge. So yeah. It's... Oh my god, are those lemons? Yeah. They have a lemon tree. Sure, we're coming after we get out of the hot tub, I guess. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be doing school out here because this is so pretty. Also, we're staying in West Hollywood, like right near Melrose Ave. If you guys don't know, that's like a pretty busy area but this feels so peaceful like even though it's right in the thick of things it still feels really quiet is it hot it'll be in there to feel the hot today Ooh, that'll be nice at night yeah that's right once it gets a little cooler and we obviously got to do this oh my god this is actually so soft what the heck that's so comfortable here's another look at the room I'm very tired, but the place is super nice, and thanks for sticking with me. Still got snacks from the plane. If you guys have made it this far in the video, comment down lemon because of that lemon tree. I'm going to be filming a lot and vlogging while I'm here for two weeks, so make sure to be on the lookout for future videos. You can also follow me on Instagram at eleanorbacon.yt for some more content and pictures, see things that I'm doing live time. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.